five must-have placement automations. Here we go. Going to start with the summary, what we're going to cover, and then go over these each individually. So the first is around a start date of a placement. Second is around the end date of a placement. Number three must have is to proactively fix mistakes before they cause bigger problems. Number four is to update candidate data automatically. And number five is around NPS score use case. So around the start date of a placement, so many good things can be done. Regardless if you do contract, temporary, or direct hire recruitment, there are use cases that will add value. Even if it's a simple congratulations on a new hire, a reminder, hey, you start tomorrow, check in on the first day, how the first week's going, how the first month's going. Of course, doing all of those things all revolve around the start date of a placement. So it'd be really powerful to make sure you stay connected with your place candidates, ensure they're having a good experience, fix any problems before they fester and become bigger ones. The next automation is around the placement end date. Of course, this is probably more geared towards temporary or contract staffing, where you can have a chance to redeploy contractors. But even in the direct hire world, really strong, because um, it's very important to maintain a relationship, hopefully a positive one, and especially on the direct hire side of the equation, if you can maintain that positive relationship, oftentimes that can become a future client. So all are revolving around the end date. And of course, if you're having guarantee periods, things of that nature, that's where it also can come into play. Number three is identifying potential mistakes and fixing them proactively. So your back office will love you if you put this type of automation and campaign together. Make sure that your placement data is aligning with what's required by your back office so you can fix problems before they rear their head as a billing mistake. So this will save you heartache and headache and provide a smoother experience, not only externally to your candidates and clients, but then also better for your internal teams as well. A lot of value here. Next automation is one of my favorite because it's a database hygiene automation that requires no effort or input. Gotta love those. So one of the best things that you can do when someone gets placed is update the corresponding candidate information with the things that you now know from the placement. So you could update their position title or job title, salary pay rate requirements or what they're currently at, skills or industry. And again, you can take these things, infer them from the placement or the job record in which the placement is logged against. You can update their date available date to when the placement end date is or a certain amount of period afterwards if you're trying to do something, if something different as far as your process and protocols. You can update their candidate status. And of course, you can update their candidate status after the placement's over. And just a few examples of some of the things you can do. You can get really creative where you can have these pure database automations passing information from one area to another. Lastly, the last must have automation is around NPS. And you can do this for both candidates and clients how they're feeling about the particular placement, working with you as a company, right? The only way that you're gonna gather feedback in a meaningful and high volume way is if you ask for it. That's where the NPS survey comes in handy. Of course, through Herefish, you have some unique advantages of doing that. You can write that data directly back into your database for that visibility standpoint. You can follow up dynamically based on how someone is answering the survey and then follow up appropriately. And then also you can continue to ask for their, how things are going, their satisfaction, even if you're not provided the first time, 
But then as soon as they provide it, they would not get any further attempts to get it. 